think when I went through the divorce or post post marriage, you know, um, that's kind of when a little bit more ambition came along with the painting. Like I think I think the painting before that was just something that I always did, was just very natural. And then after that, I realized that I had a little bit of I sort of felt a little bit of a sense of obligation or responsibility towards what I saw and getting it out. And it was actually springtime when I left him, and that was the first time that I noticed that sort of connection that we have mm -hmm. with the seasons, and mm -hmm. and I felt things like, you know, more awake coming up in me, just like things were coming up in the, in the ground. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the way that I dress is kind of symbolic in that way, like, I feel like I want to sort of mimic what's happening outside the way that I dress, you know? I think that I feel more comfortable not looking like everyone else, but not in, not to the point of like in sort of an outrageous way, but just like in a subtle way. I'm I'm from here, from Nashville, born here, and lived here until I went away to college, and then traveled around the southeast a little bit, and then wound up in Seattle for a while. I grew up with three brothers. I, I never really felt like I was allowed to like clothes or mm -hmm. or really care about buying clothes, and that you know it always sort of felt like a an extravagance or something. My grandfather was a really successful artist, so he sort of modeled this, um, this really great work ethic um, that I picked up from him, where you just like you know get up and work every day like everyone else. He he passed away when I was twenty one, I think. So we didn't really know each other, and he had dementia at the end of his life, so we didn't really know each other as artists. He just knew me as a little girl. And, I knew him as a grandfather. You know, it couldn't help but influence me visually because it's always all around, around me wherever I'm living. He painted Princess Grace, Grace Kelly, and he painted um, Jimmy Carter and his family. So we ended up getting some pieces like in the Smithsonian and that kind of thing. My mom has a picture of me doing my first painting. I think I was like one and a half or something. I've always um, wanted to be a painter when I grew up. I always wear one of my rings, either this diamond one or this one or the wooden one I had on before. So I always feel really weird if I forget to put one of them on because I don't paint in them. Yeah, and I guess I've been wearing that wooden one pretty much since my, pretty recently after my divorce. So I think I've always had a ring on my left hand, my left hand ring finger. I just feel weird without one. And my mom made this Snow White dress for me for Halloween one year. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really look that much like Snow White's dress, but you know, it was sort of her version, her interpretation, and I wore that thing on Halloween, and then I wore it like every day for probably a year. <laughs> and I made this piece actually with her. I'm just to show you this little dress. I made this in high school. I don't really make clothes anymore, but I kind of was on a kick. Um, and I just found it not too long ago and put it on, and couldn't believe it still fit. During the marriage, I was in a pretty dark place personally that probably in some ways didn't even have to do with the marriage. Well, I guess I've been doing yoga for about five or six years, but I started doing it more um, steadily or um, regularly two years ago, and it just really changed my life, you know. I sort of had a, had a notion that there were a lot of answers to some problems in my life kind of trapped in my body. Probably growing up, I I lived in the woods and it just sort of seemed like the most natural thing in the world to paint because I spent a lot of time walking, going on walks in the woods and stuff. There's some isolation associated with the woods and I think that that's also kind of a theme in my life and, and in my work because being an artist sometimes isolates you because it's a solitary activity. Someone asked me actually a couple years ago what inspires me and I, it made me, it was really such a trite question but I, it kind of like took me back because I realized that trees didn't really inspire me anymore. I was inspired by watching my friend like chop vegetables and, and cook and like I was inspired by women's faces and the way they move so I think I'm going to start painting women. I tend to envy people who are People who are just like really comfortable with themselves in social situations, I'm always a little bit reserved, I think. I think that that, that balance between being structured with it and, and working hard at it, and then also really trying to enjoy myself and play, you know, in the studio, I think that's sort of a constant 
I wouldn't even, it's not a, it's not a struggle or a, even something to strive for as much as just like, a, you gotta remind yourself, like, you know, um, remind yourself to work when you don't feel like it and remind yourself to play when it feels like work, you know. People are always sort of like focused on themselves and what's right in front of them. But you know, just like choosing what I wear and choosing what I paint and all those things, it's all kind of instinct.